What is going on guys? This is again Shrakes from SmartHerd. Welcome to Ruby tutorial number 14. Now in this tutorial I will show you an example program for for getter, setter and initialize method in the Ruby class. Now let us define a class. Let's say this time class rectangle end of the class. Now let us define a constructor. constructor that is an initialize method def sorry initialize bracket two parameters length comma breadth fine now let us create an instance variable length equal to l sorry what is going on equal to l at the rate breadth equal to b fine very clear till now now after that let us create a getter method getter def get length return at the rate length right Let's copy paste it for breadth. What is going on, man? Here to there, there to here. Breadth, fine. We are having two getter methods here DEF get length, which will return the length value, and DEF breadth get breadth which will return the breadth value now let us come to the program body here let us initialize an object first hash creating an object let's say rect equal to rectangle dot new right let us send some parameters that is we have to send two parameters suppose let's say 30 and 50 we are create rectangle spelling is wrong right okay now is there a class here we have created an object rect which is initializing two which is sending two parameters to its default constructor 30 and 50 this l is getting the value of 30 and b getting the value of 50 then after that this length is getting the value of 30 this breadth is getting the value of 50 now let's print these values let's call the getter function by simply x equal to rect dot get breadth first get length right then y equal to rect dot get sorry get get breadth let print these values put as the length of rectangle is let's use interpolation hash curly braces x let's copy paste it the breadth of rectangle is let's use interpolation here control save now we are good to go let's save it and execute it here we go we get the outputs like the length of the rectangle is 30 the length of breadth of the rectangle is 50 it should be reverse guys breadth is always smaller than length <laughs> is a bit mistake I have done no props it was just a program to show you the illustration now let us now where is the setter function guys let's use the setter function here in our example let's say initializing setter setter def space set what is going on set l e n g t h equal to value you can use any variable here no props and and was not there I don't know why let's see at the rate length equal to 
value let's copy paste it breadth p r e a d t h equal to value now what is this error going on here what is this error unexpected equal to okay there should be no space I just forgot now let us call this setter function here by sending some values here we are sending this value 30 comma 50 now what if I use the setter function to set the values hash using setters okay rect dot set length equal to let's say 130 rect dot set breadth equal to 200 again I have done a mistake guys breadth is greater than length no props you take care okay now let's save it and execute it here we go we get an output like this the length of the rectangle is 130 the breadth of the rectangle is 200 but here guys first we are sending these two values 30 and 50 why not 30 and 50 is coming here this is because in Ruby when rect object is created it sends two parameters to its constructor this 30 and 50 so it initializes length equal to 30 breadth equal to 50 but as soon as the interpreter comes to this statement rect dot set length equal to 130 this calls the setter so the length value of length becomes equal to value which is 130 similarly rect dot set breadth equal to 200 the value of breadth here becomes 200 so the previous value 30 and 50 got replaced by 130 and 200 now oh dogs are barking outside <laughs> let's not get deviated so finally x equal to rec dot get length this is a getter function we are extracting the value from the getter of length getter of breadth and putting the values into the x variable and y variable finally using interpolation you are printing out these two values now guys let's find out the area of the rectangle now let us define a specific function for it area of rectangle spelling rectangle is wrong mind it def space let's simply say calculate area within this we are returning a value return at the rate length asterisk multiplied by at the rate breadth now here we are defining another variable area equal to rect let's call that area function here we are having option calculate area let's not waste time just click on it so let's print a function put us the area is let's use interpolation hash curly braces area let's save it and execute it let's check the output yeah here we go 130 into 200 is 26,000 so the area of rectangle is 26,000 what we did here guys as I have explained to you before in previous tutorials we have defined a function to calculate the area this is returning two values sorry one value length into breadth and here we are storing that value in this variable area and finally we are printing it here using interpolation now one more thing again I would like to say you guys this at the rate, at the rate length guys is an instance variable and this at the rate breadth is also an instance variable instance variable are the properties of an object and its value is confined within the class only but its value can be seen across different methods here in this method when value of at the rate length is changed in at this method then its impact can be seen at this method too so 
hope you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a comment below my video see you guys in next tutorial thank you